I'm just going to keep it nice and simple. We're going to have back heel off the ground. The reason why we want the back heel off the ground just makes it a lot easier to do the turn. Yeah, to turn the foot. If you've got flat foot like that, it's a lot more grip, so it's a bit harder. Same on the front foot. If you're doing front foot pivot, you need to shift, get your back heel off the ground. Let's keep it nice and simple, yeah? We're gonna start off with a simple one-two, jab, cross. Now, when, when you throw the jab, cross, what I prefer is to step into the punches. If your opponent is going back and you throw punches standing still, you're gonna most likely miss. And a lot of the time, the opponents will go back. So to throw correct one-two going forward, it's front hand, front foot, and then back hand, back foot. Okay, when you do that step with the back foot, you get so much more power with the shot and you're also pushing off the ground. Yeah, you watching Nina? So pushing off the ground, push, bang, you get the power. Also, one other thing, if I don't bring the back leg in, I always talk about this, if I, if I do this, form, and then I don't bring the back leg in and I do that, I'm gonna fall, most likely I'm gonna bring the hand in. Most likely I'm gonna fall short with my punch. But watch what happens when I bring that back foot in, cuts the distance and I'm able to land the shot more effectively. We're gonna keep it very simple. Step with the jab, step with the cross. Then from here, you're gonna slip, shoot that one. You're gonna slip the right hand here. Okay, so I want a little step out. And then now you're gonna do a front foot pivot here. Okay, and then just shoot the jab, 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 and then start again. That is a very clean and effective way to land two simple shots, move, slip out, get out of trouble from an angle, and then establish the range and establish control. So I'm gonna do it a little bit quicker so you can see then we're gonna get started. Really simple, so first thing I wanna do, so I'm here, I make sure I'm out of range. Out of range means I can't hit them, they can't hit me, I'm here moving my head. Then I wanna shoot my one, two, make sure that I bring the back leg in so it's easier for me to then pivot. Following the right hand, I want a quick pull, just a quick slip, with a step and a turn, yeah? Let's do it real fast now, ready? Shoot the right hand. No, that was good. I can shoot the right hand. Or let's go. Go to the body as well. Or let's do double jab. Yeah, we'll do double jab. Ready, double jab? Yeah. One, two. Step out. Jab, jab. Yeah. Back and go. There. Now, on the, don't worry about that. On that double jab at the end, I'm controlling the distance. So I know the range. So if she tries to shoot the right hand, I can just take a little step back. That's the power of using the lead hand to control the situation as opposed to always using the back hand. So one more time, just to break it down so everyone knows what we're doing. Get together, let's do it together. Can you start? Let's copy what I'm doing, we're gonna go jab, cross, make sure the back left's coming in, hands come back, slip and step, no, slip and step first, you need to slip first, yeah, make sure you step with the front foot, so here. That's it, and then from here now your weight is on here, on the lead leg, turn. That's it, and then jab, jab, good. All right, let's get cracking, let's go. 